Hey everybody, it's Paul with Kush in the Bush. I am here for the tower challenge. Hashtag tower challenge. Hey, I mean, you've seen the tower driving in. Hey, not bad, eh? Uh, my plan is, it's kind of a bit of a hill. So I'm gonna go down to the bottom of the hill. That's where we can hang out. We'll have our fire. But then when it kind of comes time to bed, we're going, we're sleeping right beside this thing. Obviously, there's a chain link fence in the way. Let's light a joint. Uh, the time is like 4.25. I missed 4.20 by just a couple minutes. Just couldn't make it out here in time. Um, I think we're puffing on some super sour diesel. Uh, it doesn't give me a THC rating, but I bet you it was in that 25, 27% range. That's about where they kinda, they sit. But uh, yeah, make happy camper. Thanks for getting me out this month. Thanks for getting us out this month. Great challenge, by the way, great. Um, it's been on my hope list that somebody would pick a tower for the challenge. Again, this tower means something to me. That's right, but we'll get into that a little bit later. Let's smoke this joint. Also, you are being recorded on, watched off of, filmed on, I don't know, a brand new iPhone 15 Pro Max. Uh, I needed the memory, so that's why I went with the Max. So let me know if you guys notice a picture quality or, or anything of that nature. I just brought some coffee with me today. Uh, I got my, that, my thermos full. I did bring some hot chocolate. Uh, I did bring a couple stealth Pepsis, just in case. It's, uh, it's cold. It's uh, probably about minus seven right now. And we'll probably wake up to about minus 15-ish. So it's gonna be a, it's gonna be a cold night. Um, the sun's already set. We are just living off a twilight zone now. I think I will wait till it gets a bit darker to go down the bottom of the hill and light the fire. But as for this, I really enjoy it. Oh shit, there's a bird. Hi birdie. There he is, guys. A winter bird. Yeah, and just eating leaves and berries and sticks and whatever you can find. He looks very fluffy. I brought my big winter onesie. I got my green jacket. <coughs> I did throw a liner in my sleeping bag. So tonight we'll see if that's any better. And I brought my sleeping pad. So hopefully tonight's sleep is better. Uh, it shouldn't be windy, so I shouldn't have a problem just hunkering down there in the side. Uh, uh, sleep by the tower, guys. Hey, eh? Freaking awesome. I don't think it's in use. Uh, there's no lights on it. So that's kind of disappointing. I drove by last night and uh, yeah, there's no lights. That kind of sucks. Yeah, guys, we'll, uh, I guess I'm gonna rate this now. We have one more, I don't know if I'll get to it. We got a few flavors to sample today. Yeah, I'm gonna go just a measly, just an average eight, eight out of 10. It's uh, nothing special. You definitely know it's a sativa. Like you can feel that, let's get up, let's go do stuff. So let's finish smoking this. So we're at the bottom of this first hill. I figure we should be super good to have a fire down here. Nobody should really see us. And then the tower is, and it's right there amongst those trees right there. Well, let's uh, keep going down the hill, see what's, what's up. So this is as far as I've made it. Oh, we got a, we got a backhoe up there. Huh? That's our group of trees. 
it's definitely getting dark. Um, so I think I'm gonna start looking for some firewood. Gather up some firewood. We'll build the box and uh, light that said fire. And then smoke another drink. So that's what we do here at Cush in the Bush. Go on adventures. We smoke joints. Get some couches. Looks like maybe a little dryer or something. A whole bunch of mattress frames. Big rocks. This yard here is empty. You can see there's a cement truck factory over there. We pump their cement all the time. Um, that building over there is also a yard. It's empty. And then actually beside us is a yard. And it's also empty. So, I definitely noticed a few vehicle tracks. Um, when we, when I got dropped off. So, there is people coming down here. So, I do have to be quite cautious of that. But I mean, when you're sleeping in the dark, nobody's gonna see us when we're tucked over by the fence behind all this said stuff, right? So, it's back in the trees. The car seat. Yep. Back in the bush, guys. Back in the bush. We're there. We're in the trees, guys. In the bush, cushion the bush, smoking joints. Be back. So I've changed locations. That fucking hill is steep. And it was so like just freaking tight in there, man. It was hard to film, it was hard to do anything. Uh, so I came down where that hoe is. Kind of got the fence as a as a backrest. It's a little bit more open. The trees are just right there. There's trees behind me. We're in the bush, guys. That's right. You seen freaking Moon Rocks watermelon flavor. So I was trying to save this just for the episodes, but I tried some at home and it is the best shit in the planet. I just absolutely freaking love it. So I did save enough that we could have a bowl beside the fire. It's wonderful. Such a nice watermelon flavor. And I put all this powder in here too. Um, I guess it would be called key. Cheers, everybody. Words can't really describe it. It tastes like you're eating a freaking watermelon, but you're getting baked at the same time. Absolutely fantastic. I love it. Hashtag self camping lines. Hashtag tower challenge. Uh, I can see the tower right there. And that was actually another reason why I kind of picked this spot is I was in a little bit better view of the tower. Down across this way, there's nothing down there. Um, absolutely nothing. So I shouldn't, I'm not too worried about anything coming there. And then we're past the road far enough that people have to get out of their fucking vehicles to walk this way to see me, which I doubt is gonna happen. Mmm, love this stuff. I mean, for the moon rock category, <laughs> I have no comparison, <laughs> nothing. Definitely love this stuff. Um. 
nine. The flavor is freaking on point. Tastes like you're fucking eating a watermelon. So yeah, if you guys can get some moon rocks wherever you're at located, get some. Um, I got mine off Bloom Supply. Mmm, awesome. Awesome, and I'm not a pipe smoker. I don't really like smoking out of pipes. And remember guys, I don't... <coughs> I'm not an expert at anything. So if I say something and it's wrong, I don't know. Um, you know, I'm just here for the conversation. <laughs> Gonna be just freaking annihilated here, riding the rip. Hashtag let's get elevated, right? Yeah, well, as you've seen, I got rid of the firebox. The, the wood around here just freaking sucks. I can't find anything small enough that's dry enough and it's all wet. The only way I could get it to burn was big fire. Um, it's winter time. When I'm done, kick snow on it, stomp it out, kick more snow on it. She's out. Yeah, well, I don't know. It's about 7.30, about a half hour, about an hour after... Uh, after our I lost my coffee there after the live freaking here we are here i am on mark's challenge the cappy campers and he fucking donates five dollars what a freaking legend man thank you sir thank you uh just been trying to get this fire going sitting here snacking on some fudge I make it myself. Simple, easy, three ingredients. You wanna know? Hit me up. Or you can Google it. I smoke drink. Mmm. So tasty that way. I did hear some howling earlier, maybe like three or four or five good howls. And uh, that seemed like that was it. Burn my gloves. Whew. Hot. Yeah, otherwise, nothing much is going on. Nice quiet night. It's about minus 10 degrees now. I don't know. It's fine by me anyways. I got no complaints on this kind of temperature. This is what it should be all the time. Minus 10. Freaking right, man. Oh, oh shit. It's uh, even with these big fucking logs, it's so hard to keep going here. It just, it all just went out on me again. Yeah, I am just gonna burn these and be done with it. It's a struggle, man. I spent more time dealing with this fire than actually not. Ah, oh, one of these stealth gadgets. Bellows. Or go get yourself a car antenna. I might go for 30 seconds or so. Yep, I should have just left it extended. Yeah, like this is just, this is what I've been pretty much fucking doing for like the last, last hour. Just trying to get a, trying to get a fire going. The thing is, it's not even really fucking cold enough for a fire. So I am just gonna burn what I have. Yeah, we're just puffing on some blueberry indica. So it's called blueberry indica. Um, I think this one again is at 27% THC. And again, it's, they, they don't even really give you a, a full on definition. It's just like 24 to 27%. So 
up uh, my head burning in this wood, smoking this joint. And then we will, uh, I don't know. I kind of needed to get it to loft up, so maybe just bring everything back up there, get the sleep system loft, loft up, and then, uh, you know, smoke another joint or something before bed. Uh, again, Mark, thanks for getting us out this month. Thanks for getting me out this month. Uh, smoke weed every day, cushion the bush. Again, thanks to all the new subscribers, all the new commenters. It is nice and quiet. Besides, there is a, a pipe yard, 24 hour pipe making yard. That is definitely making some noise. Oh, a glove fell on the fire. We're good. We're okay. I love these fucking big old onesies, man. Sit here across the fire like this. Oh man, this is great. I'm glad I ditched that freaking firebox. Yeah, this will probably burn for 20 or so minutes. Uh, we're going to rate, rate this blueberry indica too. You know, man, I'm just going seven and a half. There's uh, no blueberry taste at all. Honestly, there's not much of a taste at all. It's smooth on the throat, burns clean. But I bet you it's only in that 24 THC. It can't be much higher. I mean, look at me steam right now. <laughs> Sweet. I don't know if winter camping does. Especially when you can have a nice fucking fire like this. I, uh, I think I will. Maybe, I don't know, fuck it. I was gonna say I was gonna go run up top and see what it looks like, but like I said, I think I'm, I'm done with this fire. It's going nice now, but you kinda gotta keep it just raging to get it going. You just gotta dry all the wood and then burn it. Ooh, crazy guys. It's hot. Definitely not stealthy at all. Not at all. But she's getting less. Yeah, I guess I said seven and a half on this blueberry indica. Nothing great about it. It's just a joint. So, uh, yeah, I guess maybe next time you see us, we'll be, uh, over there. Maybe. Oh, I guess on side note, uh, when I first got here, I picked this spot just because it was kind of flat and uh, seemed a good spot to me, right? I've got the firebox going there first, you've seen, right? It's cleared some snow. And then uh, I noticed as the snow was melting, fucking big pile of fucking deer shit, like right beside the firebox, like, you know, maybe like half a foot, foot away. <laughs> fucking kick all that fucking shit aside like oh of course I'd pick with a deer shit <laughs> the deer shits in the woods will cushion the bush but find it yeah probably <laughs> I'll see you in a little bit guys Okay, it's minus 10 degrees Celsius outside right now. Yeah, I'm pretty much pouring it in there and getting it to come to a rolling boil again. Right, oh, and it's pretty much freaking boiling right away. So I'm gonna call that good and we will stick it in that pocket right there and we'll see what it looks like in the morning. I won't touch it if I need to make coffee. 
I got another one that I should be able to get water out of uh, to make hot chocolate or whatever. Uh, the fire is out. I'm gonna kick snow and stuff all over it to make sure it's out. So we'll see you while I'm doing that. Oh, I'm just about to uh, pack up here. He's frosty. Um, I just did some dabs with the members. And uh, we were over in that general area. Come member, find out. And on the way, while we were over there, a deer walked up across over, yeah, someplace over in there and took a shit on my track that I walked over there with. Cause I took the same thing back and uh, yeah, he took a poop over there. So he's went down that way. So yeah, if you're uh, interested in the dabs we did and uh, where we smoke the joint, become a member. One dollar a month, four dollars a month. Hey, we'll see you up the hill, guys. It's pink, do -si do Look at that majestic tower behind me. Look at it, man. Uh, so I guess a little backstory on this tower and why it means a little bit a little bit more to me than I guess any other tower that I see just kicking. Um, this summer, this spring, I was told to come down here, check a job. And uh, this was a job. Uh, So we got the job. Richard pumped the footings for the piles. And I came back a couple days later, pumped the big piles. Big ones. Right? Probably, I don't know. 40 feet down there at least. And, uh,. And then a couple weeks later, Richard went back and pumped a pad that that sea can is sitting on that could have been chute poured and wheel barreled, but whatever, easy money, right? So I have a little bit of my heart and soul and my hard work into this baby. She's a beauty. I wish it was all lit up and functional though. Uh, and I have noticed that, yeah, it's definitely not functional. There's no wires running from like the sea can to the top or or anything so i don't know budget cuts or i don't know hashtag south camping alliance hashtag tower challenge check that out eh um i do really like the pink this the taste of this pink do, -si -do. got a bit of a sweet taste to it but it's very weedy like it's very earthy at the same time. Um, you get that little bit of a fucking tingle on your tongue. Mm. It's good. I quite like it. So yeah, I'd stick to my eight and a half there, guys. But yeah, guys, I'm just going to sit here and smoke this joint. Probably turn around and stare at my tower. Uh, for the hashtag Stealth Camping Alliance. Hashtag Tower Challenge. Dropped by Mick Happy Camper. Once again, Mark. Thanks for getting me out this month. Forgot to mention, I did make some hot chocolate. We're not drinking coffee anymore. Ozzy, hot chocolate for tonight. Mainly because I want to try and save some of my coffee for tomorrow morning. done this joint so you guys smoke weed every day i like this freaking pink do -si do i'd buy it again so you guys we'll see you in a bit yeah and everything's just kind of stored here 
Got the thermometer right there so we can tell the temperature. But uh, yeah, put my dry socks on and let's crawl into this thing. Oh yeah, and we're right here, by the way. Hashtag South Camping Alliance. Hashtag Tower Challenge. Yes. This thing sure takes nice nighttime video. It is so nice. It's so bright. Like, what you guys are seeing is probably twice as bright as what I'm seeing. And it looks clear as day. So, that's good. Got to learn how to use the front-facing camera. And, uh, should be a good adventure. See you in the bivvy, guys. Uh, we are cozy in the bivvy. Uh, I might move over. We're, we're kind of leaning this way a little bit. Anyways, that is my view. There's the tower. And if we pan up, pan up, rotate, pan up, boom. There is my view for the night. Again, unfortunately, it's not blinking, which I'm surprised that they can do. Maybe it's below the limit, but uh, Anyways, we'll see you guys in the morning, unless something crazy happens, which I highly doubt it. We'll see you in the morning, guys. It's uh, it's about 5.30 in the morning. Uh, I just checked on my temperature thing there. It's about minus 15.7 degrees Celsius. I'm definitely at the limit of this sleeping bag, even with this liner. Um, it's It's good. But anything colder, I think I would need my bigger sleeping bag. It's just cold. So I think the best bet is to get up and start walking around, right? Snow plow, Mr. Plow, Mr. Plow. Guys, here's this water bottle last from last night. Got it open. It's definitely frozen, but not frozen solid. Just a little layer of ice on there, and that's good to go. So we have water this morning. That's good. And now, let me check this one here that I melted that I didn't put hot water in, and it's frozen 100%. Oh, there's still bubbles in there. So you could probably get water out of there, melt a little bit of snow, and then throw it on top, and you'd probably get it. But we're good with that one, so that's all that matters. Let's grab a coffee. And by I grab a coffee, I mean, here it is. Probably won't be super hot, but I can heat it up. But let's see how warm it is. You know, it's just about drinkable, but I think I will warm it up a little bit just to get a little bit more warmth flowing through the body. It's cold, guys. Puffing on some super sour diesel, a sativa. May as well uh, not burn ourselves. It's out at six o'clock in the morning, eh, guys? Well, hashtag Stealth Camping Alliance, hashtag tower challenge um i slept right beside the tower all night you guys thanks for watching thanks for hanging out with me um if you like donating to the channel become a member that's the best way and even a better way is uh paypal because then i get it instantly and it's more personable like i keep saying but yeah guys again thanks for watching uh you did see some daylight this trip so that's not so bad, right? Smoke weed every day, cushion the bush. Peace till next time. Hashtag Stealth Camping Alliance. Hashtag Tower Challenge. Drop by McHappy Camper. Once again, Mark, thanks for getting us out this month.
awesome challenge. I had a blast. Absolute blast. Yeah. Please tell me that I can't, that I won't, that I fail, that I'll never make it out, yeah. Please tell me all the bad, never good, fill my head full of every single doubt, yeah. Please say any negative thoughts, I pop off when I hear people say I cannot. I get off to the thought of proving everyone wrong, I won't stop to the top, so you better back off and get lost. I'ma stay loud, stay proud, never running out.